Johnny Depp addresses the media frenzy over his and Amber Heard's legal battle. The actor debuts his new film, Modi, Three Days on the Wing of Madness, which he directed at the 72nd San Sebastian International Film Festival in Spain. During a press conference for the film September 24th, Johnny goes into detail about how he personally related to the film's subject, Italian artist Amadeo Modigliani. And in his comments, which were captured on video by The Hollywood Reporter and posted to social media, the actor seemingly alludes to his highly publicized court battle with Amber. He tells the crowd, each has their story, sure. We can say that I've been through a number of things here and there, but you know, I'm all right. Johnny adds, I think we've all been through a number of things ultimately. Maybe yours wasn't, didn't turn into a soap opera, televised in fact, but we all experience and go through what we go through. And those things that we are able to live and remember and use, these are your stripes. You never forget them. So to see these people all teetering on the verge of earning their stripes, desperate to speak but unable to, in a way. Johnny's 2022 defamation trial famously had its proceedings live streamed on the internet and was viewed by millions. One of Depp's lawyers from the case, Camille Vasquez, told People magazine earlier this year that Depp was the one who wanted the cameras in the courtroom for the trial. She told the outlet, I know how personal and how invasive some of the topics that we talked about were for both of them, for both Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd, adding that it was incredibly important to Depp be able to reach his fans and show them the evidence that the jury was evaluating. The Aquaman actress announced on December 19, 2022, that she made a very difficult decision to settle the defamation case, explaining on Instagram at the time, It is important for me to say I never chose this. I defended my truth, and in doing so, my life as I knew it was destroyed. On June 1st of that year, a Virginia jury ruled that Heard was liable for defaming Depp in her 2018 Washington Post op-ed, in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse, without naming Depp, and awarding him $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages, though the Fairfax County Circuit Court judge later reduced the punitive damages to $350,000, which is the state's statutory cap or legal limit, which made his total damages $10.4 million. In her Instagram statement, Heard, who originally filed to appeal the verdict, said, The vilification she has faced on social media is an amplified version of the ways in which women are re-victimized when they come forward. Now I finally have an opportunity to emancipate myself from something I attempted to leave over six years ago and on terms I can agree to. I have made no admission. This is not an act of concession. There are no restrictions or gags with respect to my voice moving forward.